Hey there, middies, gallywags, and friends. How you doing? Um, so I, uh, welcome to this video. I've actually been sitting on this footage for a while. Um, this is the second part of my, uh, two-part drawing of, uh, sort of inspiration of uh, the spirit of winter. So the first drawing is very beautiful, very serene and lovely. And as you can see from the <laughs> preliminary sketch, uh, this is Willem Defrost. He represents the other side of winter, cruel, unforgiving. Um, yeah, just, you know, struggling. <laughs> and that feels very real. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a long ass video. So if you need to pause, grab a snack and come back. That's totally fine. Um, I'm not going to be doing too much commentary because again, this is kind of a longer video, uh, but I will go through real quick and let you know the products that I am using. Uh, so for the paper itself, it is a uh, Bristol vellum. So it's not smooth. It actually has a grit and a texture to it, which is really nice um, when it comes to near the end of the drawing. Uh, my pencils are my ever beloved and well worn out <laughs> uh, Faber Castells. Uh, it come, it's the gold fiber uh, pack and the 10. Uh, very nice. And then my pens, I do use the um, I believe I use the micron. I don't remember. I either use the micro. Oh, sorry. I either use the uh, uh, micro, the Pigma microns uh, for the initial line work or the Tombow line liner pens. Um, again, I apologize. Don't remember. But then I do go over all that with the uh, calligraphy uh, type pen from Tombow. It is one of my favorites. Again, um, it can do like a thick line and then it can do fine line work it's perfect and then uh, to end i use a combination of artist loft uh, markers and the uh, copic markers alcohol based markers with some colored pencils for a little bit of texture uh not on our good friend willem De willem defrost uh thanks for that name my fr my, my friend gets a bit uh <laughs> gave uh gave gave him that name um and yeah then just colored pencils over the top it provides like a really cool um like worn weather look again i wanted these to look like a portrait uh yeah yeah so i apologize for the weird editing uh, ahead of time again i've been sitting on this footage for a month um these are a combination of a total of six vods that i had to like cut down and edit <laughs> and it was a lot of work and i still missed some things like little um shots of me or um you know might be right back screen i believe i got all those out yeah so any who's uh i will let this run i enjoy the tunes and yeah i'll chit chatter with you guys at the end of the video <laughs>
and uh, hello it's me i'm back uh popping in <laughs> we are getting near the end of the video um and i just wanted to um give a little bit of insight again um with the processes i this was definitely like a new process for me in regards to the um markers just using markers um because generally i use colored pencils as I don't want to say a crutch it is a little bit of a crutch <laughs> to do uh, like texture or provide like the um, sort of the depth of color uh, but I really wanted to try just using markers and I am really proud of how uh, this did turn out and uh, pushing myself um, to again be outside my comfort zone and I think that is generally um what i try and do i try and push myself creatively outside of what would be considered comfortable right so this definitely there was a lot of things about this particular drawing <laughs> um just also around like in real life as well that there were some things going on that um definitely made it um yeah, it was just it was just hard there's a lot of emotions tied into this that aren't necessarily related to this drawing and i don't, I don't know i don't, don't think that, not necessary to go in it uh over uh the um this video but if you're part of my twitch community and were around when this happened then when i was doing this then well you know so um but this i think the shirt turned out fantastic my favorite part of this drawing at, at the end is absolutely that mouth and those really gross <laughs> teeth um the drawing itself and i realized i didn't uh, go over this with you oh man i had lost a couple nails <laughs> since this video started um the inspiration behind this was the uh corrupted uh from the game uh, New World, uh, which is a super rad game. I haven't played it in a while because I think I broke the game when I was last updating it. So real sad. I got to figure out how to fix it. But um, those characters in the game are are lost. You know, they've lost their humanity. There is pretty much nothing left to them but to be like slaves to the island. And if you play New World, you get it. If you know, you know. So, <laughs> but this was just um, a lot of fun. It was definitely um, elements of it, like I said before, challenging because we're here using only markers. I'm not relying on colored pencils as, um, I, I guess you could say a crutch. Um, everything is a little bit more delicate, a little bit more detailed, but again, totally had a lot of fun. And this was probably my <laughs> favorite part. Like I said, look at those teeth. I love those teeth, but um, I just wanted to talk about this part here with the uh, background because I wanted it to look like a oil painting, you know, like those like really worn, kind of like the picture of Dorian Gray. Like when I think of the picture of Dorian Gray, I think of uh, something like this where um the background is very dark and um it's very like yellow it's aged with time you know so that's the what i was going for and it ended up turning out really well um again we're just sort of layering colors and i'm trying to like eyeball to make it sort of um have it be an equal distribution of color uh to blend but yeah this is a, a lot of fun uh yep there we go and we're just blending again the mark the the recap uh i use for the markers artist loft markers i do find them really nice um they are pretty juicy in regards to like ink uh, to them. I do think some colors have more ink in them the, than others, of course, uh, and then uh, Copics. So that dark, darker maroon is a Copic and it goes a long way. It's probably like one of my favorite shades. That shade is Peony, I believe. Yeah, it's beautiful. So you're getting ready to see the colored pencil. So I learned this technique off of an artist off on TikTok that I follow. And I, for the life of me, his name escaped me, but he does beautiful work. Uh, and I will get his name and I will put him in the description box below because you should go follow him. 
a fantastic guy again. It's late when I'm recording this and my brain has stopped working. So maybe this is this is news to me, right? So as you can see, I am taking a black colored pencil. I'm just taking different colored pencils and laying that on top, but then I'm going over that with the markers and see that effect. It like, I don't know, it like melts the wax and the colored pencils and it just has this really awesome effect. So I, I was totally on board with that. <laughs> And it is a process. It is sort of like you have to kind of work a little bit at a time. Um, but it was just like, this was fun. Like, again, I loved doing that disgusting mouth and the shirt was also really satisfying to do and to blend. But there was something about this part here that was so like satisfying. It made my lizard brain just so happy <laughs> um but i like that I, I have all my colors set there i use a range of of course we have that black there and um which worked really well with that peony uh shade that really dark maroon and then different shades of uh, brown kind of closer towards the center yeah <laughs> your rounding out and finishing up here again this is so satisfying <laughs> to have done and made and um the this piece here both Willem Defrost and that first piece uh Spirit of Winter will definitely always hold a special piece a uh, little piece little special place in my heart so um I just really want to thank all those who are watching um for supporting me um you guys y'all are the best I absolutely appreciate um, your time and I hope you enjoyed seeing this process <laughs> and how uh, good old Willem uh, DeFrost was made. Uh, if you aren't already, uh, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you are, you can definitely check out all my social media things um, where I post all sorts of updates. And then also follow me over on Twitch. I do art streams uh, every Sunday and Wednesday. And then we play uh, Final Fantasy on Friday because I love Final Fantasy. So uh, again, thank you ever so much for your time, for um, your support. And I hope you, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if no one's told you this today, hear it from me. I am so proud of you. Um, you are loved. You are valued. You are allowed to hold space. Uh, make sure you do something kind for yourself. That's very important. And then, yeah, if you're ever given an opportunity to be a pirate, always and forever be a pirate. Thanks again, my friends, and I will uh, see y'all, see y'all, talk to y'all <laughs> very, very soon. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs>